Hey, how's it going everybody? Good morning. It's a little before 7 on a Thursday and I'm looking towards the Asok BTS. Down below is the Sukhumvit MRT, the subway. This is Ratchapisik off to the left and you'll find Benjikiti Park at the Sweet Queen Syracuse Convention Center. And then when you take a right, that little stretch of road across from uh, Terminal 21, that's the shopping center, is Asok Montri. Then it turns back into Ratchapisik. So, I was confused there 10 years ago. Just that little stretch is a soak mantra. You also find soy cowboy. So we'll take an early morning walk around the area, including up uh, soy 23 and the back side of soy cowboy. I guess you could say it starts over on a soak mantra and ends there at 23. It's just a short little red light area here in Thailand. So if you get off the BTS at a soak straight ahead, you can take this sky bridge across the way or you can run across traffic it's a uh, kind of like Times Square I don't really recommend running through the crosswalks if you can avoid it but that one is uh, well traveled and this is the main crosswalk I'm talking about coming from the BTS over towards Cowboy in the evening there'll just be hundreds of people making this crossing still watch yourself with the motorbikes green light or not just like these guys they're gonna they're gonna still uh, try to make up a little bit of space so just follow the crowds across the crosswalk and Cowboy's not on the corner of Sukhavit it's just up the way a small distance a couple hundred feet up on the right but if you're at Terminal 21 it's just across the way and if you're getting up to this area at the Sukhavit MRT the subway below ground train you can also cross from the Terminal 21 area over here to the Cowboy side without having to deal with that crosswalk. And here's Cowboy. It's really not uh, much to look at in the daytime. At night, this area is crazy, but it's also the time uh, customers and the ladies sitting out in front of the uh, bars, they, they probably don't appreciate a camera in their face. So I'll show you how to get over here and then it's up to you to uh, fill in the blanks. Come over here and check it out in one of these evenings. Here's Country Road on the left. Sugavit, Soy 21, Soy Cowboy. And just across from Country Road is uh, Penny Black. Both these clubs will normally have a rock band playing below. Penny Black is kind of famous for its after hours. I don't know if it's the third floor, but they'll do uh, techno or hip hop up there and go late into the evening. And this place over here next to uh, Country Road, what's it called? The Five Star, I think. Yeah, the Five Star Bar. This is another kind of famous little rock bar. Actually, you have to watch yourself on Cowboy during the day. It's a busy little shortcut with motorbikes. During the night, not so much, but during the day, they're just going to come uh, flying through here. There's also a lot of uh, street food set up in the day and night as well here's the Venus Club next to a dispensary and I'm watching my back here and another dispensary next to the Deja Vu Deja Vu is kind of a popular strip club in uh, California I know and um, also in Vegas I think they have one Here's the Lucky Star, or Lone, Lucky Star, I'm sorry, it's still early. Here's the Tylac Bar, and this is a, kind of a huge, takes up maybe three rooms. Across the way from the Toy Bar. And the Key by Dundee. It's an interesting little bar. I was actually hanging out in here with a couple of, a couple of friends about a month ago. It's across the way from Sam's 2000 and the Rainbow. Yeah, even if you're not into the red light areas, you need to come down and check this place out uh, on a busy, well, every evening's busy, but especially a weekend, Friday, Saturday. It's just as crazy as uh, the Vegas Strip on New Year's Eve. Here's the Cowboy 2 across the way. And here's the lighthouse. It's 
Spice Girls. And this is uh, where my buddy likes to hang out. It's called the Dollhouse. And like the sign says, no camera, no video. Yeah, don't be that guy trying to pull out a, a camera inside a Vegas club. You're gonna, you're gonna get yelled at. Here's Susie Wong's. The door's open, little peek inside. They're cleaning places up and uh, getting ready for the busy, eh, it kicks off in the afternoon, really. Jungle gyms. Ladyboy bar. Called Shadow. Good morning, good morning. There's the Midnight Club. Mm -hmm. Now this is just a regular bar, the uh, Stumble Inn. There's also a Stumble Inn up by uh, Nana Plaza. Shark Club. And here's the cockatoo on the right. And as you can see, we're, uh, we're almost towards the end. It's really not that long a soy. Baccarat. I forget the name of this place. I'm not an expert. Real? And the Cozy Cazzy, or Cazzy Cozy. And then just around the corner is the Crazy House. And it's pretty crazy. All of these places are gonna have bands and uh, they're behind closed doors. Unlike some of the beer bars, say, on Soy 22. These are more set up like, uh, oh, what's the word? They're gentlemen's clubs, but uh, Here's the crazy house right here. There's just a difference in uh, Thailand and Bangkok. You have the behind the closed doors places and then the more open beer bars. And I'm drawing a blank at seven o'clock in the morning on uh, the difference. It'll come to me here in a minute. And here's a sign that says this area is monitored by CCT cameras. And uh, yeah, you'll find those everywhere really in, in Bangkok. Any large city now, you're not gonna go anywhere without uh, the camera's kind of following you. In this area, it's so super touristy. If things are gonna happen in Bangkok, they're probably gonna happen here in Cowboy or Nana. Uh, for example, you are supposed to carry your identification on you at all times. And in the case of most tourists or expats, that's gonna be a passport. I don't think they necessarily wanna see your California driver's license. So make a color copy of the photo page of your passport. And if you want to go one step further, make a copy of the stamp into the Kingdom of Thailand showing you're here legally. There have been uh, reports of different people here in Cowboy. I think it was a year ago. They set up a little checkpoint and they were just asking people for their identification. Now, people will oftentimes keep a picture of their passport on their phone. That's fine. But I've mentioned it in other videos, if uh, you were to have some kind of accident or be unconscious and they're going through your wallet, it'd be really helpful to have that, uh, at least your name. And on the back of my uh, ID information, I, I keep my emergency contacts, but I'll leave that up to you. Most people have a lock on their phone, so that's not gonna, that's not gonna help uh, a policeman or an ambulance guy much if they can't read your phone and just feet from uh, cowboy is scruffy murphy's it's a nice little irish pub there's uh no shenanigans going on in there just uh guinness and check out a game and walking up 23 is a cool little restaurant barcelona just across the way from a post office there's all kinds of little massage options on this cowboy some a little or a little crazier than others I'll just leave it at that we're gonna walk up just a short ways and then take a left head back over towards a soak Montre Thailand 
Thai cuisine. A little bit fancier restaurant. And up on the corner is a little, uh, I don't know if it's a pavilion. Just a, just a little area of different restaurants. I know there's a taco place and a sports bar. And there it is. I guess it's just called BKK 23. Makes sense. We're on Sukhumvit Soy 23. Soy 23 is kind of an interesting place. I've did a couple of videos. You can search the search bar at the top of my channel and they'll pop up. You take a right turn here and there's two more Soy 23s and then it turns into Soy 31. So you kind of have to get used to that in Bangkok. You would think there's uh, just the one, but oftentimes it spiders off in different directions. Here's a sports club. I forget the name, the clubhouse. I actually had a burger in here that was pretty good. And these are all massage places over here. Now this is what I'm saying. See way at the end where you see that other car? That's also 23. So where this motorbike is uh, popping out is the middle 23. And then the third 23 is down the way. If you see that large building off in the distance, the two, this 23, the second 23, the third 23, then it turns into soy 31. So that's just how it is. This 23 is spidering off in three different directions. They're all running parallel to each other, but it could be a little confusing when you're out here trying to find a condo. Especially because, uh, as you can see on the corner, there's a shortage of street signs. Here's the Taipan Hotel. Well, if we look through the uh, parking lot, there's a Taipan Terrace. Just a little bar, I guess. That Ashton would be on a Sok Matri, just on the other side of Terminal 21. And here's a Hilton property, Bangkok Grand Asok. I think it's a little pool area on the roof. Sorry, that's not a very good shot. More massage options on the right. And an Italian restaurant tucked away called Unico 23. And there's the Unico at the end of that little driveway. And here's a pretty fancy, legit massage, the Rain Tree Spa. Not even a five minute walk from uh, the end of Cowboy there. And then maybe eight more little massage places all in a row. I see an Indian chef restaurant. There's all kinds of beautiful condos on this Soy 23. This is on the left side. And of course, the larger the unit you want, the more you're gonna pay. It's all about square footage in the city. And here's the 23 residence, which I'm assuming is a hotel. And more beautiful high rises down 23. And it says closed at uh, 7.15 in the morning, but this Uni Donuts, this looks like a new location or it's maybe it's coming to life. I know there's an Uni up at the top of Soy 33 and a half. I'm trying to stay away from donuts these days, but it's a Japanese chain or at least the one at the top of 33 and a half is. And I made my way up to the first corner from Soy 23 as we left Sukhumvit you can go right or left. If you go right, you're going to the other Soy 23 and, and just some other condos. I'm gonna head off in the left direction and head back up towards the Sok Mantri. And I just met a couple nice gentlemen. They're out for a little morning stroll. He says he lives down the way. Now, just in comparison, it's comparing apples to oranges, but we were talking about uh, this is a pretty expensive area and he said he pays 100,000 baht a month. Now he has 210 square meter, I believe he said. So yeah, you can't compare that to your average 31 square meter condo in Bangkok for 15,000 baht. Just just for an example, you can pay as, as little or as, as much as you'd like for rent. But towards the higher end, yeah, this is Sulk and maybe up Tong La, so 55. You can, you can pay a lot. Now across the way, I see a couple of dance studios, salons. What else is in there? Oh, I think there's a Mexican food place up here on the left that uh, 
I've been telling myself I need to try and I haven't. And here's a little burger place, Mad Cow Burger. Yeah, I should try this Mad Cow next to a little dispensary. And Pad Thai. And a Korean restaurant that crossed away. Oh, there's a Max Value Supermarket. I'm gonna walk across the street. It looks like it's open. Many of these uh, larger markets like Big C and Lotus, they won't open until 10 in the morning and they'll close at 10 at night, but it looks like this max value is open. Maybe in this busier area, it's 24 hours. That would be, that would be lucky. Cross traffic here. Max value is a little smaller, but it's uh, three times as big as say a 7-Eleven and you'll find produce and meat. No, it says seven in the morning until 2300. But that's better than 10 in the morning. Oh, looks like they have plenty of uh, deli options. I'm all about those little uh, pre-packaged foods. Of course, I was the same way in California. I'd go get my rotisserie chicken and eat that for a couple of days. Where there used to be a Mexican place over here, I thought, huh, maybe I missed my chance or maybe it's one block up. So just ahead is Busy Asok Mantri. Here's a Loha coffee and smoothie. And a fancy barber shop, the road. Shave, trim beard, 300 baht. Cut and shampoo, 500 baht. Here's a little realtor office. Here's a large office building. I can't see the name. I think it says the Sing Tai building. All kinds of high rises on this Sasok Montre, that's for sure. If uh, you had to pinpoint the center of Bangkok, Many people would say this Terminal 21 right there with the uh, the pointed building would be the quote-unquote central part of Bangkok, especially for expats. I hate to be kind of the ugly expat and, hey, you got to stay on Sukhumvit and the, near the train and all, but 80% uh, of expats do. So you'll find your different pubs and, and restaurants catering to the folks that live in the area. They're not the only people that live in the area, of course. It's maybe 5%, 10% expats, and the rest uh, Thai people and people from all over the world. But this is where a majority of expats hang out, so you're going to find a nice uh, steakhouse or Mexican restaurant right alongside some of the most delicious Thai food you're ever going to eat for $2.00 or less. Just Monday, or uh, not Monday, early morning traffic on this Thursday morning. They did put this divider, although it hasn't stopped many of my motor taxi guys from heading this way, making a quick right turn, and then heading off in that direction to head over towards Soy 19. It's just a little shortcut rather than going all the way back up to and then doubling back down 19 especially if you're going over to soy 13 or soy 11 they know these uh oh geez that bus came kind of close they know these little shortcuts but let's head back down a silk mantri towards sukhumvit and cowboy will be up here on the left so we just went around one gigantic block and across the way is the fir firma or furama exclusive with a restaurant or coffee shop below. Yeah, this is Soak Montre. It's definitely a busy New York City feeling street. Well, you'll have to pick your spots on that. Myself, I love the city. I would probably live over here in a Soak, but I'm real happy up there in uh, Prom Pong. It's a little more affordable. I'm within minutes of the crazy energy of the city. Yet, when I'm walking home, it's just a nice, quiet street in the evening. Here's the Prime Building. 
with a kiddo daycare center. Pretty nice looking tattoo shop, Bloodline. Minimal coffee maker, it says Chiang Mai coffee. Now here's a government building, it says the Federation of Accounting Professions. And just as a coincidence, two of my very good Thai friends are CPAs here in Bangkok. You can see the motorbikes down there doing that little uh, shortcut I mentioned. And there's the Terminal 21 at the base. You'll find the BTS, the Asok Station, or the MRT, Sokovit Station. They come to a junction. Yeah, if you're new to Bangkok or thinking about coming over here for the first time, looking around for a visit, or maybe you're just moving over here, yeah, move to this area. Keep your life simple. I mean, get an Airbnb for a month and then figure out the city. You can always head... 15, 20 miles in, in any direction and you're gonna be you're gonna be happy, but that might be a little harder start as you make your adjustment into Thailand. This is uh, about as easy as it gets. Everything's in English, all the different shops in Terminal 21, the different phone stores, internet stores, they're all gonna be able to help you in English. You'll, you'll find English in 90% of places in Thailand, but here in the Asok area, it's more like 99.9% .9 of places. And on the other side of busy Asok Mantra is the Siam Society. And the other side of that uh, Hilton that goes through all the way to Soy 23, I'm sure we could have cut through the lobby and popped out over here on Asok Mantra, but I was just going for a walk around the block. And that's one of the entrances or exits, oh, bus, to the MRT Sukhumvit, right below the Ashton and the Asso Court building. It says office rental, so I'm assuming it's all business. And there's the Terminal 21 Mall. You'll find a beautiful movie theater up there. Those FC cinemas are all over town, but this one is especially nice. Right under that Terminal 21 sign is a really nice food court. You'll hear every YouTuber and person that's visited Bangkok talk about the Terminal 21 food court. Go in there, load up a little money on a card, and uh, have the best 60 baht meal you've ever had. Now, of course, you can do that in many food courts at these malls around Bangkok and Thailand, but that just happens to be a a super popular one. Coming up on the Celassus Silk building, which I believe is a beautiful condo. And there's Royal Pizza across the way. I've never had it, but I'm sure it's very popular just right across the street from Cowboy. And off to the right, the Plone Chit area, maybe two miles, you'll find the U.S. Embassy and a dozen other embassies. They're sprinkled all over town, but uh, that Plone Chit area and, and Wireless Road, that's one of the that's one of the biggies. Here's a beautiful condo, the Las Colinas. We have a Las Colinas prison in San Diego. Well, actually, it's not a prison. It's the Ladies Jail, out in beautiful Santee, California, Las Colinas. And here's the 7-Eleven. If you can uh, decide between two, two or three condos, if one of them has a 7-Eleven within feet, that'll just make your life a whole lot easier. Things in 7-Eleven, uh, they pretty much cost the same as a grocery store. You saw, just saw that gentleman taking off with two things of oil. I'm sure he's... Uh, roaring off to his uh, food stand and yeah he is uh, not loading up at the Big C or Lotus it's just the same price here in the 7-Eleven why not and that's it we've made our way back to the cowboy but we just did a big gigantic loop around uh, this soy 23 and then back up a soak Montre. so I appreciate you watching there'll be more videos to come you have a great morning